Brian Allen here. Thanks everybody for watching and listening. Today we are talking about a brand new season of Truth Be Told. And we have one of the stars, Rico E. Anderson. This show, every time we find out it's coming back, we get more and more excited uh, because it's just so good. And your character is a lot of fun. Um, Octavia, I mean, the whole cast. Thank you so much for your time and spending with the, uh, spending it with us today. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you, Brent. It's, a, it's a immense pleasure to be here, and, and I really appreciate the invite. Thanks so much. Yes. Well, the new season is back. It's been out. We've got a few episodes. And every year, every season, you all just step it up a little bit more. It gets a little bit more intense. So you, you're back. How does it feel to have new stories, new episodes for the fans uh, to be able to watch? It's it's a blast. It's such uh, it's such an honor working with this this whole crew. And when I say crew, I mean cast and crew. It, it's I mean you have Academy Award winner Octavia Spencer. You have two time Emmy Award winner Ron Cephas Jones from This Is Us. Uh, legendary Mackay Pfeiffer, Tracy Toms, and off of Broadway, and just an amazing cast. I mean we have Gabrielle Union this season, and it's just been a very um, just a fun process, but also I love the fact that we're covering real life topics in 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 this the case of this season, and yeah. the fact that we're bringing uh, serious light to a troubling situation that has happened, continues to happen, and unfortunately doesn't get the the type of attention that it should be getting just because of what it entails and how it's affected so many children across the United States and even the world. Yeah. And every season you do tackle very um, important and relevant topics, although it's seen from the eyes of a former journalist turned podcaster who it's got the true crime vibe, but it also goes much further than that mm -hmm. um and it's been fun watching your character in particular as as they have grown and changed over the seasons and it, you're presented with different storylines when you find out that you're coming back and your character art gets to continue what headspace are you in thinking okay what can i do differently what can i bring to the character sure. to to fit in with everything else that's happening you know as an actor when we're blessed to have a second season of anything, of any type of show, one of the things we always want to know is how does our character play the part even better than they did the previous season? And I know for Herbie, being the running the biker bar, the knock, running it, managing it, being a presence there, he is very much um, the type of person who knows things and always has his ear to the street and yeah. always has just that that general knowledge that hey if you want to know something that's going on herbie is always there and you know you can always approach herbie with information my association with with the family is very important and i always look forward to exploring different levels of the relationship that I have with members of the family, friends of the family, and just how Herbie as, as a whole uh, fits into all the storylines. And even this season, you see more of that in terms of my character's involvement with the family, with the capstones, as well as uh, his part in what's going on with this season. <laughs> Very well put. Yeah, absolutely. Very well put and very well said. And I think that's, I think we all wish we knew a Herbie in our life <laughs> somewhere <laughs> uh, in the line of things, maybe not necessarily uh, dealing with uh, what could be perceived as a seedy underworld, but really just having information. And one of the things that I appreciate about the story and your character in particular is there is, it's not just one dimensional, right? Like you're moving along, you come to him, get information, and then you continue on. But as you mentioned, in this season, that relationship with the family developing more and really becoming more tactile with what's happening, mm -hmm. then has to feel great as an actor to go, hey, they love me, they love my work, and we want more of him, right? I mean, that's 
the best one of the best things you could ask for i would think as an actor is to oh, yeah. be given more it you know the 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 relationship that i have with the members of the cast has is is something that i'll carry throughout my life and beyond you know 10 12 years when the show was over going see how i manifested that i did yeah <laughs> that's you've got to do it yeah 10 to 12 it. seasons man let's do this come on come on apple yeah. uh, <laughs> let's you get have to your, you're pretty soon you'll be having a, your own podcast about the biker bar and the people <laughs> that come through <laughs> the, Herb, the herbie show you know the, herbie the uh, show, yeah 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 hey i i love it uh no it, it's 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 been it's it's been a, an amazing ride i i love the fact that i get to play in the sandbox with with these amazing actors i mean they're so giving and and it's 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 a master class every single time i get the opportunity to to be on set and chew up scenery with like octavia and ron and and tracy and hanifa wood and 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 and, and makai it's 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 such a wonderful thing to see you know i i pride myself as being a pretty good actor myself and sure. to be alongside and work alongside what I consider these legends and just these these masterful uh, artists is it only helps to make myself better. And I I love every single day coming to set, even if we have long days, just, you know, one of the things that I always do as an actor, and I've done this ever since I've started my career, really started taking off. I always take a moment when I'm on, on set. I look around, I appreciate where I'm at, and I... You might even see a little smile coming out of me that just shows I'm really, really proud of myself and just happy and blessed to be in the position that I'm in and to work alongside some amazing people. I mean, this show was created by Nichelle Tramble Spellman, who's a good friend of mine from the Bay Area, from the San Francisco Bay Area. Yes. And to yes, and so to be a part of a wonderful creation that she had uh, had uh, put forth is also an honor. Another thing I'd like to say is it's it's great to showcase um, a black biker black biker uh, groups, which uh, is very prominent in the San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah, and I lived there for Hollywood. years, very much so. So you know, yeah, and 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 you know, the Capstones is very much about community, very much about um, just protection and and a sense of belonging and all of those things. And it's beautiful that this is being showcased like it is because you just don't hear about these type of stories and you don't see these type of um, these type of groups being portrayed. So to be associated with that and to be working in the bar that houses them and it's kind of like a gathering for them all, it's, 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 it's just been great. Man. Yes, now the show does take place in that in the Bay. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you probably don't film in San Francisco other than externals. Part of me hopes that you do. <laughs> you just got <laughs> the, the yeah. fan side. <laughs> oh, hey, you know, one of the great things about being an actor is, you know, if you can go home to shoot, you know, like local boy, local girl does good. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's so cool. Um, I have not flown up to shoot any episodes, but um, the majority of it is shot here in Los Angeles, but okay. many exteriors are shot. And some of the actors have been sh uh, flown up to uh shoot around like lake Merritt, okay and uh yeah a couple of other little locations that yeah you could green screen it but there's nothing like shooting at lake Merritt. yeah there's i mean i drove like around at one point before i moved to yeah. colorado just looking for filming like you know you can just do mm -hmm. like the rock or so many great movies that have and shows that have been filmed in san francisco oh, yeah. well i have to ask one last question or two here i was looking at your filmography and you got quite an early start i was looking and i think poetic justice and a couple other things were where is where your career began it's just doing background is mm -hmm. that where the interest began for you or did it start before that uh your career as a storyteller actually my interest as an actor started when i was a witty bitty rico about six years old six seven years old and i always knew just even watching the the actors on tv and and even in plays that I've seen, I, I went to went to go see a production of The Wiz, and um, and I was just really mesmerized by the performances from from the lead actors to the to the to the dancers, you know, just to everybody, and just really being fascinated by it. But in a way where in my mind I was like, I can do that. I want to do that. That looks like so much fun. 
And so when it came to television and film, I, I felt the same way. So I always knew that at one point, I want to do that. And when my family and I moved from Chicago, because I grew up on the south side of Chicago okay. in Hyde Park. Yeah, when we moved to the San Francisco Bay Area when I was 11, then that's when the bug really kicked in and I started doing theater in classes uh, in, in, my, um, in my middle school and, and in high school, bunch of musicals, bunch of plays. And beyond that, uh, work in San Francisco, a lot of a lot of work in San Francisco. I majored in theater arts at San Francisco State, studied broadcasting there and did a ton of theater and independent film around the Bay Area. And doing background work as a beginning for myself was important when I wasn't getting the big auditions for the big roles in TV and film, because what I wanted to do is I wanted to be on the set. I wanted to be on a Hollywood set and I wanted that experience and I wanted to know the, what it was like. Why is this light hitting me? Why am I being mic this way? Why do I have to stand here when in real life you would stand there? How do you cheat things? You know, how do you cheat the shots and all that kind of stuff. And all that's very important because it has, it, you, you just know, you just come through with a broader understanding of the industry. And from, but from that, just like when I was a little bitty Rico, I knew that I wanted to move to LA and pursue it even more. And so from that, I went to, L, you know, moved to LA and, and that's when things really started to kick off. But the Bay Area is really where I got my start and i um, very, very proud of those roots. And yeah, uh, you know, especially when you're able to um, bring forth, uh, you, you know, issues, you help to bring forth issues that, that of course, uh, aren't, advertised and aren't publicized like they should you know one of the issues of course that we touch on is the fact that um human trafficking is and has always been unfortunately a thing but when it comes to that when it when when you deal with little black girls being abducted and um and human traffic it doesn't have the type of um advertisement it doesn't have the type of media coverage it doesn't have the type of information that's brought forth and the attention that it should have and it's one of the biggest things that i really applaud by truth be told and apple tv as well for bringing forth this this issue it's very important and coming from the bay area that it you know it's a problem all over but the bay area has its share of those problems too so um being a representative of getting that word out is is very important as well. I know I kind of just went way off the no, I that's, with the answer, but I just really wanted better. to make sure. Yeah, I just wanted to really uh, bring that to light, and 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 you know, with this season, it's really upped our game, and it's really brought forth this just this powerful entity that uh, you're gonna love it. Just seeing everybody doing their thing, but everybody's everybody's just really bringing it bringing the heat and <laughs> yeah. woo, people are going to be in for a ride if people aren't watching it they need to catch up seasons one and two is already out season one we had uh aaron paul from breaking bad as the uh, first major guest season two we had kate hudson this season we have gabrielle union i can't stress enough how how this is just a game changer and if you love true crime if you love all things suspense who done it oh my gosh didn't see that coming truth be told season three it's a game changer and i i encourage everybody to please watch support and share share the information share the fact that the show exists to people who may not know apple tv plus only on apple tv plus baby 